Chinjinshu, Chinese Forced Fish. Dayuhang po tayo para sa ating panlasang Pinoy, kaya dapat ito sana ay sa Tanglis. Pero nagkamali tayo ng dila, kaya ituloy na natin sa English. Patawad po. Ayan, naparusahan, nataob tuloy. <laughs> the simplest of all fish dishes. Just four ingredients. And despite its simplicity, it's delicious. Try it at home, it's very easy. Samahan natin si Kuya Romolo sa kanyang cute na kusina. Good evening to you. It is Friday evening and I'm going to cook a very simple recipe. By the way, welcome to our small kitchen. What are we going to cook tonight? Jenna, <laughs> that's all we need. Fish, for this case, it's a fish fillet, pepper, and this, by the way, pepper is optional. Spring onions. This is the soul of the recipe. Likonki, it's, it's a soy sauce for fish. And oil. That's all we need. Soy sauce and oil and the fish. And of course, this steamer. Yada. You can uh, improvise. The uh, steamer of your rice cooker will perfectly work. Let's start with our recipe. Although we would usually steam an entire lapu-lapu, for this recipe it's uh, good to cut the fillet into small bits, similar to the cuts for a kinilao. This is to allow proper absorption of the sauce and for finesse, of course. This is what happens when you don't have adequate amount of water. The, uh, st the part of the steamer that gets in contact with the pan gets brown, or it can even burn. That's why adequate amount of water. Let's put this down, and once it begins to boil, or, or and once it begins to produce steam, we'll add the uh, fish or when I add the fish we will steam the fish I'll be using this small dish to steam the fish notice that it fits perfectly here notice that it fits uh, perfectly inside the steamer and there should be an adequate space in between to allow the steam to circulate I'm placing the uh, cut uh, pieces of fish fillet now, ready to be steamed. I think this amount would be uh, done in two batches. This should be okay. This is the second batch, first batch. While waiting for the water there, the steam, to start, uh, we can also prepare, we can prep our very limited ingredients. This is not visible. <laughs> I've changed the color. Mm. <laughs> yeah, red against red. I think this is better, yeah. Or the green. No, no. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me shoot that again. While waiting for our ooh, let's, let's close it. While waiting for our water to produce steam, we can start preparing our uh, ingredients. Very limited. This is just uh, what's this? Chili. We need this for color and also for fire. I think two would be good, or maybe three. This challenge our palate a bit. This might be too spicy for most Pinoys, but let's expose our palate to international uh, flavors. Okay, I think this should be enough. Mm. 
let me present the uh, main feature, the beta of this episode. My homegrown uh, spring onions. I planted this out of just uh, kitchen scraps. So instead of throwing them away, I replanted them and look, they grow. And that's what I'm using today. I cannot even find where is it now? They fell. On the ground. <laughs> okay, so this is it. Let's wash them a bit. Yeah. This is to decorate. Let's remove this blue one from your viewing flesh here. So let's slice this uh, onion, spring onions. I'm too close to the camera, live camera now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is it. This is our ingredient. I might as well cut this now. Or from here. Yeah. We'll be needing this later for garnishing. Let's give it here for now. Yeah. It's boiling briskly now, so we can we can start steaming the fish. Look at my implement. Yaran. I'll stop. You know what? I'll ask the Chinese here in Holland how long should this be? And they say 10 minutes is all you need. 10 minutes. Again, the name is Xinjing Shu. Steam fish. Say it. Xinjing Shu. To our Kababayans at home, this is Chinese recipe and I should be doing this in Taglish. Yeah. Luto na ang ating uh, steamed fish. It's been 10 minutes, kaya hanguin natin. Let us uh, remove it from the steamer. Since the uh, plate collected water, we will have to drain that. We don't want water in our dish, so we will drain it. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that was an accident. <laughs> yeah, that was an accident. Uh, no. Nothing serious. Nothing serious. Let's do the second bouch. Yeah? Let's give this 10 minutes and we will be more careful. I cannot afford to lose this barge. It's the only ulam I have for this app for this evening. And I hope to feed my crew from Belgium. <laughs> my crew as if. <laughs> yeah, and thank you by the way to our cameraman for Belgium for being very helpful. Thank you, cameraman. One of the uh, ingredients, just oil, will boil this. The Likum Ki, we need approximately two tablespoons of this. And stir it. And let's add the ingredients. The uh, pepper. This is a bit spicy, and the green onions, well, not green onions, but the uh, spring onions. I think I'll need more of that. Let's add more.
look how simple this can be. Oil is, our oil is boiling now and we just have to add it. Did you hear it sizzle? There's the finishing touch. Then add more. Mm -hmm. And for presentability, let's transfer it to another dish. Our Xinjiang Shu or Stem Fest. Very easy. You can do it at home. Just legum key and oil and some uh, pepper. And if, as an option, spring onions. And it is delicious. Mmm. Join me again next time as we bring you more easy recipes from other countries that we can easily make at home. Wherever we are, in the Philippines, in the Middle East, Canada, the US, or anywhere in the world. Thank you for joining me and until next time. Your Kuyan Uncle here, by the way, in Holland, Romero. You stay back there.